Welcome back to the Movie Man. Today I will show you a 1994 American romantic comedy drama film, It Could Happen to You. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Charlie Ling works as a cop in Queens in New York, where he has lived all his life. He loves his job, and is not only generous and a good listener, he is resourceful, loves kids, and has patience and common sense. Unlike him, his wife Muriel hates Queens always complains about everything, and talks bad about Charlie behind his back. Somewhere else in the city, a waitress called Yvonne owes $12,000 on her MasterCard, and she tries to explain that her husband she's trying to divorce has used her card without her consent. The judge remarks that if she's not divorced yet, she's responsible, and declares her bankrupt. One day, Muriel tells Charlie she can't live in this one-room apartment, and that they are going to win the lottery. Charlie remarks the chance of winning the lottery is slim, but decides to buy a lottery ticket the next day. As he and his colleague Bo go to eat lunch that day, Yvonne just arrives late to her job. Stressed, she thought she forgot her glasses, but her friend tells her it's on her head. When serving them, Charlie marvels over her beauty, and seeing she's in a bad mood, he tries to cheer her up, just as they've ordered. However, their police radio goes off. Charlie goes up to pay for their coffee, but doesn't have enough for a dip. He remarks he has a lottery ticket, and says he'll come back and split the winnings with her tomorrow if he wins, and if he doesn't he'll bring a tip with him anyway. Yvonne says she'll be here tomorrow, but remarks she doubts he will come back at all. That evening, Charlie plays a bit with the kids on the street. As he goes home for the night, Muriel complains about him soaking his feet near her, remarking it's disgusting. Somewhere else, Yvonne asks if there's any chance she could get her master card back, but is told her chances are next to none. As the winning numbers are broadcast on TV, Muriel complains that he chose the wrong number, that he should have picked their wedding anniversary. Charlie says he's sorry, but then suddenly their lottery number is announced, and Muriel starts screaming hysterically they won. 64 million dollar, and Charlie remarks calmly that's unbelievable. As Muriel learns there are 16 other people that picked the number, and they only got 4 million dollar, Charlie remarks she looks like a psycho, being so angry. Looking at her, Muriel nervously asks what it is. As Charlie explains he split the ticket with a waitress, Muriel screams. Muriel tells Charlie to stiff that waitress for her. Next day, Charlie asks Bo whether he should tell Yvonne that he won $4 million, but Bo replies that's up to him. Charlie enters the cafe, and sees Yvonne being nice to people inside that have had a tough life. He also sees how her boss is treating her badly, deducting amounts from her salary for socializing with customers instead of working hard. As she sees him however, she's surprised he came back. Yvonne asks what he wants to eat, trying to find her glasses which Charlie helps her to find. Charlie says he didn't come to eat but to give her something. She gets surprised, and when opening it, Charlie explains it's one of those strings you can hang your glasses around the neck so you always know where they are. She remarks it's the nicest thing anyone has ever given her. Yvonne says she's sorry she acted so rude to him yesterday, but that it was because she had just gone bankrupt. Hearing she went bankrupt and feeling sorry for her, Charlie immediately starts talking about their agreement, saying he'll give her two choices. She can either choose to get a double tip, or take half of what he won in the lottery. She remarks she gets tips every day, that splitting a lottery ticket is more exciting. Charlie remarks he hoped she would pick that, and reveals they won $4 million. First she gets angry, asking why he makes a sick joke like that, but after he's made her understand it's actually what happened. She get moved and extremely happy, running up and hugs him. She then asks who wants ice cream, and starts giving away dessert. But suddenly she stops, saying she can't accept it, but Charlie says he wants her to have it, and she thanks him so much. Next, Muriel tells Charlie he's a moron that ought to be in an insane asylum. Charlie remarks she can use it to promote her business, become famous and been known as the woman with a golden heart. As all the lottery winners are gathered and interviewed about what they will do with all their proceeds, they all come running to Charlie and Yvonne as they learn about their story, 
how he gave her two million dollar as it up. Muriel appears angry, starting to promote her products, and tells the reporters she is known in the beauty parlor as the woman with a heart of gold. They gather for a group photo, and next, people are reading about it everywhere. Sometime later, as Muriel is shopping for expensive clothes, she remarks Yvonne looked awful. Charlie gives the homeless man a few bucks, and Muriel takes it back, screams at him not to give away money. Somewhere else, as Yvonne comes home stress-free and enjoys some snacks, she listens to her phone messages. She hears how she's been eligible for a MasterCard line of credit of $20,000. Suddenly her husband Eddie calls her. Who she hasn't divorced yet. He pretends like he has no idea she won two million dollar. She asks him to never call her again and hangs up on him. Bo asks Charlie when he'll retire, but Charlie says he has no wish to retire. Charlie walks into a store and orders two coffees. Suddenly he notices everyone inside behave very strangely. Charlie asks the cashier where his wife is, and he replies she's got the flu. After which he says the coffees are on the house. Getting back out, Charlie remarks their favorite Korean is getting robbed, saying the wife wasn't there, which she always is, and that he was offered the coffees for free. Inside the robbers are taking all their money. Charlie tells Bo to call for backup while he goes through the back. As Charlie sneaks in, the robbers are stressed that Bo still is outside writing tickets. Suddenly, Charlie is seen by a robber. And as Charlie throws a heavy tin at him, the robber manages to fire off a shot. The other one's gun doesn't work, and Charlie pushes them out through a window. Backup appears, and Bo starts talking to Charlie. But as Charlie suddenly faints, Bo notices he got shot in the arm. Next, Charlie is once again in the newspaper, beginning to become quite famous. Charlie holds a speech and says he thinks the police work is one of the most important ones and wants to donate $10,000 to the policeman's widow's fund, and Muriel gets devastated. One day soon after, as Charlie comes home, he sees people demolishing his home. He asks Muriel what's happening, and she says they'll make $100,000 remodeling and selling their apartment, and save taxes if they move to Jersey. Like and subscribe may look simple for you, but for us it's very valuable, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Thank you for your support. Charlie remarks he wants to stay here. He asks where his chair is, and she says she donated it to Goodwill, and Charlie remarks he loved that chair and that she could have asked him first, to which she asks why she should, since he's the one loving to give everything away. Walking down the street talking to Bo. They suddenly see Yvonne has bought the cafe and is running it. Bo says he should go in and say hi, but Charlie says he has to go home, but remembers he had a gift for him, Nick's tickets, and Bo gets happy. That night, Charlie and Muriel go to the Lottery Millionaires Club, and Muriel is excited, but Charlie does not seem to be that impressed. Muriel goes to mingle and starts flirting with a rich guy. Charlie sees Yvonne arriving having problems. She has no cash for her cab, so Charlie helps her pay for it. Suddenly they see the boat leaving. Yvonne says she's sorry, but Charlie says he hates boats and is actually relieved he doesn't have to go, and that Muriel is in her element and should be good. Meanwhile, Muriel is continuing to flirt with a man. Yvonne and Charlie instead go to a restaurant since they're all dressed up and everything and the two start learning to know each other. Charlie learns about Yvonne's manipulative and thieving husband called Eddie, after which he reveals that his own marriage with Muriel is getting worse and that they're drifting apart. Charlie looks at her intensely, and she asks if he wants to dance, which he expresses he'd love to do. Next the two walk up and dance for quite a long time. The two express they like each other's company since they can talk freely about anything, and as she goes home, they decide to meet the next day again. As the boat returns, Muriel apparently didn't even notice he was gone. Muriel introduces Jack Gross that will help them develop some economic strategies. Next day, Yvonne is teaching Charlie roller skates, but as he accidentally ends up in a lake, he asks to do something else. Instead the two go to the subway and offer everybody a free ride home, and people get happy. A day or so later, 
they've rented a whole stadium and invited Bo and all the kids from Charlie Street to play a game of baseball. They all have a great time, and Charlie and Yvonne seem to enjoy each other's company. As Yvonne gets home, she's really happy. Suddenly she however sees clothes in her room, and then suddenly her husband Eddie appears, and she tells him to leave immediately, which he refuses to do. Meanwhile, Muriel accuses Charlie for having an affair with Yvonne. Charlie explains he doesn't, and Muriel remarks he's probably telling the truth, since he's too decent to have an affair, but then starts screaming at him that she doesn't want a working class man, that she wants him to not be a blue collar. Charlie says he won't change, and Muriel tells him she then wants a divorce, and as soon as possible. Yvonne remarks he of course wants her money, and soon after, she says that she's leaving, and if he is not gone when she comes back, she'll call the cops. Outside, Charlie meets all the kids, who ask what happened, and he says he was kicked out, that they can call him at Hotel Plaza if they want anything. Suddenly at Hotel Plaza, Charlie gets surprised seeing Ivanis is there too. They get two separate rooms, which end up being beside each other, and after having been shown to their rooms, the hotel attendants remark that those were the cop and the waitress. Charlie invites her to his room, and they explain for each other why they both went to the hotel. After a short and nervous conversation, they two kiss each other. The next morning, they're very happy to be together. But when walking out later, they are met with a crowd of reporters. Next, Charlie and Muriel are divorcing, and Muriel requires all of the two million dollar. Charlie says it's fine, and his lawyer gets upset, but Charlie says it doesn't matter to him. Muriel's attorneys then say they will also require the two million dollar Yvonne got, since the lottery ticket was Muriel's and that Charlie gave the money away without her knowledge. Charlie gets upset, begging Muriel not to do this since it's wrong, but they say they've already sent Yvonne a letter and will meet them in court. In the meantime, Charlie gets to sleep over at Bo's family's place. People read about the trial, and they hope Yvonne and Charlie will win. Next, they're all in court, and Muriel is lying about who picked the lottery ticket number, that she's the one who bought it, and that her dead father helped her pick the number. People read about Muriel's story during the following days. Next, Muriel's lawyer manages to twist stories brought up and make it look like Charlie has used physical abuse to force Muriel to do what he wants. Muriel's attorney then asks Yvonne questions and remarks it's a real coincidence Charlie split his winnings with her the day she became bankrupt. He questions her relationship with Charlie and asks why she and Charlie ran to Hotel Plaza together as soon as Muriel divorced her abusive husband Charlie. Yvonne gets angry they're trying to make her look like a gold digger and make her and Charlie's relationship look ugly. The lawyer asks if she's divorced, which she remarks she isn't, but that it's because she didn't have money to afford a divorce. Next, people in the whole of New York learn how Muriel's lawyer tried to make Yvonne look like a gold digger and an infomaniac. A couple days later. The jury has reached a verdict, and rules in favor of Muriel, who should get the full $4 million. Yvonne runs out as fast as she can, and Charlie tries to run after her, and the people and reporters outside begin helping Charlie to try and find where she's running. Outside she stops and begins crying. That night, Charlie goes to her apartment to try and talk with her, but there's no one answering. As he's walking away. He sees how the newspapers are talking about them. At home with Bo, Charlie remarks he'll be alright himself, but is worried about Yvonne. He goes to her cafe one night, seeing it's opened. Inside, he finds Yvonne, and Yvonne immediately says she doesn't want to be with him. Charlie asks what she means, and she explains she has ruined his life, that because of her, he's lost the four million dollar. Charlie says she's crazy, that he loves her and because of her, he has her, that all he wants is her, asking her to stop talking about the money, since it means nothing to him. She starts thinking, and says she wants him more than anything too. A homeless man knocks on the window, and the two remark they should probably invite him in, and they give him a free meal. Later, Yvonne says they should leave New York, and Charlie remarks he knows someone in Buffalo, and that he can join the Buffalo Force which she thinks is great. The homeless man picks up a camera and starts photographing them. Later, after having eaten his meal, 
the man walks to a van belonging to the New York Post. In the newspapers the next day, people learned that the cop and the waitress, in their darkest hour, shared a free bowl of soup with him. As he left, they gave him a good bit of money, wishing they could have given him more, and people start getting sympathies for them. Yvonne remarks she wants to see her cafe one more time before they're forced to sell it. When Charlie and Yvonne get back to the cafe, they have problems opening the door. Getting inside, they're surprised they've got tons and tons of letters. Opening them, they start seeing people have sent money and checks to them, and they start getting happy. All over the city, people start gathering money for them, making efforts to help them get back on their feet. During the following days, Postal services arrive with bags of letters. After having spent days opening letters, the city of New York had given them a $600,000 tip. Charlie happily went back to the force, and Devon bought her calf a back. Eddie could only get work as a cab driver, and Muriel married Jack Gross, who stiffed her on all her money and fled the country. And not long after, Charlie and Devon happily married each other, and made a good life for themselves. That was all of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.